I've been away from YouTube for a little while and I've had very little chance to make any Battlefield videos for a couple of reasons. First one being I've purchased a house. Aside from the stress of actually going through the sales process, I've also purchased a fixer-upper. If you're not English and not aware of that terminology, it means when I first got the keys, it was a complete shithole. I gutted the house from top to bottom and refurbished it, which took around 10 hours a day for a solid two weeks. So my playtime and my ability to think about videos and think about what I want to say to them has been severely reduced. Secondly, I've been playing quite a lot of Elder Scrolls Online, which I really enjoy. Although, I must admit that now, I am starting to get a little bored of it. But the main purpose of this video, and what I wanted to talk about it, was shotguns. And which is the best? Before I get into that, it is of course subjective. And there's also two kinds of shotgun, and it may change massively depending on which you prefer to use. Personally for me, my favourites are the semi-autos, because I'm a little too inaccurate when I'm using a shotgun to get away with the pump actions. I often die if I'm trying to take a second or third shot. So for me, with my accuracy being a little off, I'm better with the uh, with the semis. Now, my favourite, and I haven't played any tricks this time, it is the one you're currently watching, the Dow 12. I am a shotgun noob. Before the spring patch, I used them so rarely that I hadn't even unlocked them all when the patch dropped. I hated them. I thought they were useless and far preferred something like the FAMAS or the AEK for up close combat. After the patch, they're much better. And over the last couple of days, I've been trying them all out. I decided to go blind for this one and just jump in without checking any of the stats so that I could make a shortlist. The shortlist for the pump actions was the Spaz, the Hawk 12G and the 870 MCS. For the semi-autos it was the Sega 12, the Dow 12 and the M1014. In terms of the semi-autos, the Dow 12 stood a mile in front of the others for me. I just seemed to be able to drop more targets and do it far faster than I could with any of the others. With that in mind, I then went digging for the stats, and it all became clear. The Dow 12 has a pellet count of 15, with each pellet doing 11.2 damage within 20 meters, which is the highest pellet count for any semi-auto shotgun. From a mathematical point of view, if you hit your target with every pellet within 20 meters, you'll do 168 damage. The M1014, which a friend of mine swears by, using the same calculation, does 145.6. Now the thing with a shotgun is that you'll often have stray pellets. So unless you're right in someone's face, a few are pretty much always going to miss. Often, at range, you'll mostly need two or three shots to bring someone down. With the Dow 12, I found that needing the three shot was far more rare than it was with the others. And it was often having to take that third shot that got me killed. So for me, reducing the requirement for a third shot was the best possible option. In terms of the semi-autos, the Dow 12 seems the most powerful to me. Granted, they've got slightly different rates of fire and the Dow 12 is slower, but it's a really small difference. And the guns kick really hard. So often, you have to fight to get control back before you can fire your set shot anyway. So the rate of fire to me appeared to make next to no difference. The Dow 12 lets you be a little less accurate. And due to its pellet count, I was better without a choke fitted. I just embraced the spread and peppered the shit out of them. Pump actions are my lesser favourite to the semis although the one shot killing potential is way higher if you do prefer a pump action then you have to be far more accurate than you do with the semi so it's probably more of a skilled weapon they have a bigger pellet count for example the hawk 12g which is statistically the highest has 21 pellets doing 11.2 damage within 20 meters and yes that does mean if you hit him with every pellet you've killed him twice my favourite pump action, though, 
is the 870 MCS, which isn't the statistical best. I'm not entirely sure why I like it so much, but I seem to get a feeling of comfort from it. I feel confident with it and it just seems to play out naturally for me. The 870 has 19 pellets, again at 11.2, which is still plenty if you're accurate with it. I've seen various opinions since the spring patch. Some love the new shotguns, some hate the new shotguns. Personally, I'm kind of stuck in the middle with it. I can understand frustration at being killed when you go around a corner into a guy that's just crouched in a corner, closing his eyes, screaming, pulling the trigger as fast as he can. But in the same breath, the shotgun user sacrifices a lot at range. They have to play the map well and have to fight in areas so that they don't get caught at distance. As always, these are my views, entirely subjective and are not necessarily the best for everyone. But for me, they certainly were. They should be powerful though, the shotguns. Any opinions, comments or questions, please leave them below. And that's all for now. Have a good day.